G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel, and today I've received some mail, got a big bag of gold ore, and it was sent to me by Lindsay, and uh, thank you very much Lindsay, I appreciate it mate, uh, all the rocks you've sent to me and now some gold ore, um, yeah excellent, thank you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to process this all. It's from Norseman in Western Australia. Norseman is a, a renowned uh, big gold fields in, in Western Australia. It's right up there with Coolgardie and Kalgoorlie uh, gold fields in Western Australia. Yeah, so um, I'm hoping to get some good gold out of this material. So sit back, enjoy and watch and see how I go. Okay, I'll just, I'll get my crusher and we'll set up. Okay, this is the material. There's a lot of fine material in there and there's also these rocks. I've got to break them down to put through the crusher. But I'll, um, I'll run, I'll classify all this material. I'll run it through my sieve and sieve it all out. And then the oversize, I'll run it through the crusher. Yeah, and um, I'll just show you something. I hope there's enough sunlight there. It's a bit overcast today. Yeah, um, but can you see the sparkly bits in there? The gold sparkly bits. That's um, that's pyrite. Yeah, this piece of rock's just full of pyrite. And I noticed the other rock there, the other big pieces of rock, they're just full of pyrite. Uh, your sulfides. Yeah. So even if I don't get much gold out of this there's going to be a lot of sulphide so I'll keep, I'll keep the sulphides and I'll roast them another time and um, get the gold out of the sulphides okay this is a fine material that I've sieved out I've classified it there's the oversize I've got to run this through the crusher and I've also got these big rocks. I'll break these up another time. The material that I've got here, and when I'm putting through the crusher, it's more than enough for a sample to see if there's gold in the material. I'll get that when I finish crushing, guys. Okay, guys. Pan number one. This is the material from the crusher. I dropped out the screen on the bottom of the crusher and caught all this material that was locked up in the, in the crusher. So I'll pan this out first and see if we get any big bits. Yeah, so um, this materials come from Norseman in Western Australia. Right up there with Coolgardie and Kalgoorlie, one of the big mine centres, uh, gold mine centres in Western Australia. So, not to say we're going to get any gold, but we're a chance. Lindsay said he got this material from a an old gold mine, so out at uh, Norseman. I can see the sulphides, there's 
There's a lot of um, sulphides in this material, which I will hang on to. All that black material. Okay. We'll just pan it back and have a look. You can see all that all those specks. Hope hopefully there's enough sunlight out you can see you can see all those flashes in amongst all that black sand. That's all the sulfides. Very heavy, this material. Not seeing any gold. Can't see any gold. If there is any fine gold, it's going to be moving back with that black material, that black sand. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll, um, I'll put this into another container because I want to keep all this and I'll get another pan happening. Okay, this is pan number one of the fine material. And, and when I get down to that black sand and all the sulphides, I've got another pan that, um, that I'm keeping it, I'm putting it in, and I'm hanging on to it all, because uh, eventually, once I get enough of that material, I'll, um, I'll, I'll roast it, to roast the sulphides out and then I'll um, I'll smelt it and and get all the fine gold because I know these sulphides are going to have gold in them because they're from the gold fields and it's very heavy this this black sand it's very heavy material that'll do. Okay, we'll pan this lot down. I hope you can see all those sparkly bits there guys. That's, as I said, that's your sulphides. This, this material is just full of it. Full of sulphides. In amongst all that black, black material. Just full of sulphides. We might be lucky if we if we actually get any visual gold out of this material. As I'm thinking that the gold is in there, but it's locked up in the sulphides. Oh, that's another video for me to do, isn't it? Roast the sulphides and smelt, smelt them and um, recover the gold, the fine gold. As I've done before in my past videos. No, nah, no gold, guys. Can't see any. I'd have to look under the microscope there possibly would be some fine gold in there, but really fine. Okay, I'll keep panning. Okay, this is pan number three of the fine material. And um, so far no gold, guys. Uh, uh, just a lot of sulphides in, mixed in the black sand. So, as I said, I'll end up roasting this material. And... Uh, And smelting it, yeah, mixing it up with some flux, smelt it, and then um, recover the gold that way. Yeah, as you've seen in my my other videos, how I uh, recover the gold from the black sand. This will be the same process, only I'll be smelting, uh, sorry, roasting the sulphides.
pretty much do it. It's starting to rain. It's going to be one of those days where it rains, then stops, then rains, then stops. Yeah, I hope you can see all that, all the flash, those silver f flashes in the, in amongst the black sand. That's just all sulphides. What I might do, I might save some of this um, material, the last bit that I'm dragging back like, like now. I'll keep some of this and I'll dry it out and I'll run the mic microscope over it and we'll just see if there is any fine gold uh, in amongst it. There possibly would be. Okay guys, there's all the sulphides. You can see, you can see the sulphides floating on the water. Yeah, that's because I've washed, I've washed this out in clean water, so there's no, no detergent in the water, so they all the sulphides are starting to float in the water. But that's all the sulphides in the black sand, and I'll do another video. I'll um, I'll I'll roast this, and smelt it, and recover the gold from the sulphides. Yeah, cool. Well guys, that was interesting, um, no gold to show you in the pan, but I know there's gold in those sulphides, so um, thank you very much Lindsay, I appreciate you mate, sending me that uh, gold ore, that material to, to process, yeah, and show you guys what I'm doing, but I'll do another video of me, um, excuse me, roasting and, and um, yeah, uh, doing my smelting procedure that I do with the black sand, it's the same thing. And I'll get those little ball bearings of gold in the pan, that'll be another day. Um, oh, other than that, I'd just like to give a shout out, a shout out to this fella, Ned the Gruber. I'll just show you, on the back, there he is. Gruber Ned Jardine. Gold Hunter. He's a he has some excellent videos, and um, Ned's right into uh, guitar. He plays guitar and sings songs, and he's um yeah he's right into it. He goes out to the cre his local creeks over in New South Wales in Australia, and he um, snipes, gets puts on his wet suit and he gets in there and with his little snuffer bottle and he um, snuffers up all bits of, little pieces of gold. And uh, he's also into sluicing and panning for gold in the creeks over his way. Yeah, good on you, Ned. Cheers, mate. Thanks for being my friend. I appreciate you. And also, I'll give another shout out to to Andrew from That's Gold. Andrew hasn't been on, hasn't had his channel up for very long. Only about oh, 12 months, I suppose. And uh, he's on his way to getting a thousand subscribers. So check out Andrew's channel. That's gold. It'll be here or there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, check, the, check both those guys out. They're, they're uh, good buddies of mine. And um, they'll, uh, yeah, as I say, they'll put up some good videos. Okay, I've rambled on enough. Um, thanks for watching my videos, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel and making my channel great again. <laughs> okay, cheers. I dribbled it, yeah, as you do. Okay guys, I'm out of here. I think it's gonna rain again. Okay, take care out there guys, be good, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, Lindsay. Bye for now.